Um, what's up, y'all? This is Sweet Light G, and um, I really don't know what to talk about. I have a lot of things on my mind I want to talk about. Um, I would just want to talk about me. <laughs> and, you know, I've always like to do videos that send out the right messages and talk about subjects that matter to me. I don't know if it's from politics. No, forget politics. <laughs> Not gonna happen. But subjects that really, really get to me and that's the problem me. I cannot decide. I'm very, I'm very, I have too many thoughts. I can't make a decision, you know. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. And, and um, but it is a process. I'm trying to think, <laughs> trying to think of what to talk about. Um, let's talk about my hair, okay? My hair. This is my hair, everybody. My hair used to be long, and I cut it. <laughs> no, the reason why I cut my hair was because it was, it was just getting too heavy. It was it was irritating my skin, and it was just I was complaining <laughs> every single night, thinking about. I really want to cut my hair. It's just it, it, too long. But even though it looked good on the outside, I just couldn't handle it. And even though it took me almost about eight years and a half, maybe ten years, to get this long, I'm going to regret it and I cut it off. But it is what it is. When I cut my hair, I, I, I have to go with my guts. I have to, I have, I have to not think about what everybody... I, I, sh, I sh just have to put myself first. I have to not think about what others are saying about me because they are not me. They're not winning the heavy weight I have to be carrying every day of my life. Maybe since, yeah, I mean, I have some friends who have long locks and they're satisfied, they're happy. And that is the key. If you are happy with it, you're nothing that matters. And I felt like I wasn't truly happy <laughs> with my hair being long. Maybe I was happy at that time, but the time when I was ready to like, really, really ready to move on, I felt like time to cut it off. And of course I got some people who were disappointed and you know, whatnot, but <laughs> that on them because I can't, I can't, I cannot make everybody happy. If I, if, if I'm not happy, then that is not anybody's issue because it becomes my issue and, and cannot handle that. So I had people who just seem like the fact that I cut my hair, but it is what it is. <laughs> You know, I, I shared, I, I shared my time with my long hair and it was really funny because I remember the first time when I cut my hair, it was like from here to here, I think, or to here, or something like, it, it wasn't, it wasn't like this short. And I remember 
cutting my hair and I started crying. I really, really had to cry really hard and I um I cut it I cut it and I was ready. No, that was not the story. No, let me re let me remember the time when I cut my hair. When I first cut my hair, I didn't want it to be too short, dry. So I trimmed it. And then, and then it was, I think the other, it was, I think that, that was it. The first time I really, the second time I cut my hair, Yes, yes. Let me, let me, let me apologize. <laughs> I did cry. I, I, I remember going to the hairdresser and I was going through a lot of things and emotional things that was affecting me. I'm trying to get, uh, get rid of these emotional issues I was going through and I was really, I was really like, I didn't care about anything. I just thought that changing my image might fix whatever issues that I, I was going through at the moment. And I, I gotta tell you, it's not easy, you know. I, 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 when I started to cut my hair, I was like in tears. And it wasn't the fact that I was it wasn't just the hair. I was in tears, meaning I was in really an emotional state where I just, I was not ready. <laughs> and uh, and that, that day really taught me something because I felt that I needed to change and I needed to respect myself and give myself some time to heal. I wasn't respecting myself to heal whatever it is that was inside of me, that was tearing me apart, and, and I was dealing with a lot of pain and sadness and hurt and the when I, so I, I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I couldn't do it. And I, I remember my hairdresser telling me, you know, you can cut your hair, you can color your hair, you can get a tattoo, you can do whatever you want to do, but whatever it is that inside of you, it's not going to change that. Just so you know. So I could cut my hair right now. Like, I can bald my hair right now. But if I'm not feeling good, that feeling is going to stay there. And when she told me that, she, she didn't tell me the dark words. And I'm just telling, reinterpreting what she told me. And when she told me that, that was a big light bulb because I felt like that, that really showed me something. And even though I was crying, you know, I was, I might not be in the moment at that time, but when I got home, I really, I opened my eyes and I felt like, yeah, you know what, she is right. I mean, people can change. If people can change however they want to change them, but if deep inside they 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 are not ready to do anything, then it wouldn't it wouldn't be right. It wouldn't change anything. Nah. From that on, I felt like I lived with that 
that message, you know, and, and every time I, I look at myself in the mirror and I think twice about things, you know, I think about everything. And healing it had no limit. <laughs> you don't have to rest yourself. You know, if you if you're broken, if you're hurt, if you're in pain, you just have to wait it out. You just have to treat yourself right. You know, it's like you know you have uh, you know you you have a uh, let's say you you fell down and you hurt your knee. You're hurting your knee, and you can't walk, and you're and you're pretending that you're everything's okay, but you can run, you can walk, you can do whatever you want. You're still hurting. You're still gonna. You're still limping. You're still fine. Like we're cool, but you're like it's not gonna work if you take a step back and. Treat yourself, no. Put some ice on it. Put some band aid. Put whatever it is for you to rest and and just let your knee heal. It's it's sort of like that. Like if you cannot heal within you, if you're not ready. And you're not respecting yourself to be ready. It's just, it's just, just you're, you're between yourself. You're not respecting your body, you know. So that's why every time, that's why I don't want to, like, force myself when I'm not ready to do things. And you know? I kind of listen to myself and listen to my guts. And it's kind of hard when you don't have that mentality to understand how your body needs to rest. You need to heal your whatever it is that is hurting you. And just let it heal. Once you start to heal, you get to see things differently. So, if I want to cut my hair, I cut it at a time when I'm ready. And so, when I came back, yeah, this was months later. I came back and I was like, I'm, I'm really ready. And my hair was long. It was like this long. It was longer before, but anyway, it was this long. And I told the hairdresser, I'm, I'm ready. And she was like, are you, are you sure? <laughs> I'm not saying you're sure because you have, your hair is wonderful. No? I'm, just, I'm just saying, are you really sure that your heart say that you are ready? Are you ready? And I never felt so ready in my life when I... I was like, yeah, I'm ready. But let me just take the hair and let me put it up in the collection so that I can remember. <laughs> I don't want to throw it out, but yeah, I, I'm ready. And I took that risk and it was, it was good. It, it felt different because the first time my one you the scissors that is cut my hair, I was bawling. I was like crying, and everybody in the hairdresser room could see that something was wrong, and she couldn't continue to cut it. But this one, I was like, "Yeah, do this thing, do this," and so she cut my hair, and then it was it. It was. And ever since I cut my hair, part of me just lift up the weight that's been on my shoulders. 
I don't know what it was, but I felt some sense of happiness and freedom the moment I cut my hair. And when I look back on it, I think that, that should be the reason for everything we do in life. When we're looking at the, when when we're looking at jobs, or when you're looking at relationship, or when you're looking at friendship, when you're looking at whatever you whatever area you you're interested in doing, you need to make sure that you're ready to do it. Because if you're hurting and you're in pain, all of that is gonna block your vision. It's gonna block your vision. You won't be able to see. Because you're just so much in pain. And I'm not sure if I'm explaining my vision to you, but I'm 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 pretty sure that I am I'm reaching out to somebody who gets me, who who may not understand me, but who never thought about this before. Why am I doing this video? I'm doing this video to reach out to somebody to make a difference in the world. And I've always liked to do videos and I didn't care about the negativity. <laughs> it comes with the territory. There's gonna be haters. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna let them win. I'm thinking for myself. I don't think I've done a video like this in a long time, so. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Peace.